Oh yeah, now my people, my people. It's your guy, the Niger Englishman, and we are back here. Tunnel TV settings, and as you can see, it's the Niger English. No, sorry, the Nigerian Arsenal show. Before I get crucified from Kanebi, the Nigerian Arsenal show. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as you can see, the Arsenal fans are smiling, smiling from here to not here to here, here to here. We have to add the H. Here to here. That's how we're smiling because yeah. it's been a great weekend of football. We all saw what happened on the weekend. If you haven't seen the Tunnel TV reactions, go and check it out yourselves now. It's actually popping off. It was an absolute carnage of a day. And there's no better victory than ugly, dirty, disgusting, last-minute victory. And the best part of it is that, man, you, they actually thought they won it first. That's what makes it better. They thought they won it first. Ganacho was pointing at the stadium like, this is my zone, the Emirates, blah, blah, blah. But three magical words changed the day. Letters, sorry. V-A-R. People tell us we were lucky. No, V-A-R just did their job. We were not lucky. How can we be lucky when the person is offside? Does that make sense? Uh -uh. But don't forget to smash the like button, my people. Share, comment, and subscribe. Let me introduce the illustrious panel, and we're going to chop it up Arsenal way. First of all, my co-host, my right-hand man, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy that pulled out his belly for the whole world to see on the weekend, man like Kanebi. How you doing, bro? I'm good, G. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Good to see great men with me here on the stream. I greet all of you. What's popping? Mm. Good to see all of you guys. Always a pleasure to see you, bro. And we got we, we, we got a couple of debutants live streaming on Tunnel TV for the first time. We've got, you've seen him everywhere, but most recognized on AFTV. He's doing massive things on his own channel as well. Hey, he's a, he's a big deal, so it's, very, it's a very pl big pleasure that we have this guy on our channel for the first time. Man like Guna Lee in the building. How you doing, my guy? Listen, man, listen, I appreciate it. And you know what? When you did that introduction, man, I felt I felt at home. You know, you know, I'm with a nice, nice Nigerian girl. Nice yes, girl you did girl. tell me. You know mm. what? I feel good, man. I feel home. I feel I feel like I'm with my people. Like, you know what I'm saying? You are with your people. <laughs> and we were you're always welcome in Lagos. We go look after listen, you well, well. You know listen, now. Man, listen, man. You know what? I told you, man. When I when I'm out there, we're gonna have to link up, man. We're gonna have to link up. A hundred percent, man. Thanks for joining us, bro. But making his second live stream appearance on Tunnel TV, doing great things, representing the carpet, Arsenal. We've got man like Louis Arsenal in the building. How you doing, Louis? Good, good, good. Happy to be here. Good. Um, it's great to have new guys in the studio. Um, Guna Lee and Kelechi. Um, happy to be here. Happy that we got the three points, especially. Yeah. Bro, you don't sound happy at all. Better raise that happiness. So we get two weeks of trolling. Two weeks. International break day. Ah. Ah, Sweet me die. die. <laughs> but the, the final guest today, guys, I, I, I don't know. We can't really call it a debut because you've seen him in this tunnel TV, TV studios a few times. He's graced us with his presence, with his energy, his enthusiasm. You've also seen him join myself and Kenebi on our Red TV show that was going on earlier on this year. Huh, you've seen him all over AFTV. You've seen him... With, with all the stars and the celebrities, because he's a star and a celebrity. But ah, oh, look so that's, see, see, he, tried, he got he got a little bit shy. Turned off the light. But no, 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 got, without further ado, <laughs> no, I don't have to go. Our local man, our local man, our local champ, Kelechi the man, the myth, the legend. Now your new name Pidato, Kelechi the Force <laughs> AFC. Now we're not going to call you now. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Kelechi? Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Apparently, my camera is in the wrong setting. I'm really sorry. I'm for portrait mode. You know, I've, I've, it's been long. I live streamed. I streamed. I understand. I understand. We're very rusty. So sorry. We are just have to come back in. If you don't mind, it's, it's like it's okay. Uh, we don't mind. We don't mind. We don't mind. I've, we've introduced you now, so you get you get small breathing space. So if you want to go out and come in, you can. But we don't no, mind. I just want to set, set it in uh, what do you call it landscape. If you, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Like, if you like it, like it's then it's fine. No, I don't. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? Should we make him go back and come back in? What are you saying, guys? Man, it looks fine to me, but it's up looks to fine me. for now. You look crisp. Okay, you, look crisp. you look like a You're king. Okay. You look like an African king. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, nice. we love him. Um, big up everyone watching for the first time. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Share it to your friends. Subscribe. It's absolutely free. Big up 
uh, Oluru Toba. He says, we gather day. We full ground. The, ba- ba- the bouncing off the ropes podcast says, oh my God, you... <laughs> oh my God, you win and this happens. What happens? What happens, bro? We bring the A-list stars here. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> TM Frank, rice, beans and stew. Very <laughs> plenty. plenty. We, plenty. We, know my, we know my... Hey, all my man, you friends... Delivery is on me. As long as you're ordering rice, I go pay. i <laughs> just send me the bill. I go pay. Yeah, no worry. Hot rice. Hot rice. Uh, collect chief color today. Yes, now nah, we need the local man here for the, for the champions. Do you know what I'm saying? Kings of football show. Big up Kings of football show. I've not seen you in the comment section before. Big you up. Big up the man. Them. It wouldn't be a Nigerian show if you guys were not late. <laughs> hey, 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 stop it, stop it. Oh, yeah, now, my people, my people, you know now. I, 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 you can just tell, you can just tell this is the first hater in the comment section by the question that he's just asked. You can tell he's not an Arsenal fan. Big up the hitman, a.k.a. He sounds like a sports fan. They never win anything. You, kn- you know now. That's why he's asking these stupid questions on such a day like this. Yeah, bro, the video was absolutely crazy. Big up, John. Peace to you. Big up, John, in the comments. True, Don. Can he be fully took over? Never a foul. Had Kaz looking crazy. Had Kaz <laughs> and Ty looking crazy, bro. They didn't want none of the smoke. Local man's in the building. John MC in the building. Abby, my first time here. Make sure you come back and subscribe as well. Be real. You guys are jealous of... Um, I'm never finishing that comment. Can, I can never be jealous of anything that involves Tottenham, my guy. Don't don't you worry about that. Judith, we know that you do care because you're locked in and locked on and we know who you support. But guys, <laughs> let's go. Ah, this is what... Though you can still see Kelechi now. Allow him now. Allow him, allow him. All right. So, guys, Arsenal-Manchester United... I want to ha- ask a quick question to, to, to anyone in the panel that chooses to take this one. A quick question is, eight, I think it was the 87th minute when that Ganacho goal went to. Can you just tell me what went through your minds first, please? Anyone, anyone. And let's ask all of you first. I know what was going through Kanebi's mind. Gunali, are you still there? All he right, so he's coming back. Rice. He has gone to boil rice. <laughs> you can chop rice anytime you want. Don't worry. Kelechi, you were at the game with the fans. Tell me what went through your head when you saw Ganetro go through one on one and put that in the back of the net. Man, that yesterday, I mean, that Sunday was mad. But what happened was, let me just start from the beginning. I was not sitting in my normal seat. Funny enough, I was sitting in a box. And I'm not really a fan of the box, but if I have the opportunity, I'll sit down there because of the networking. So I was outside when um, Saka's, one of Saka's people called me and said, oh, where are you? I'm like, I'm still outside, so can I have a ticket for him? I'm like, oh, okay, fine. So I went there, you know, the box, and all those VIP areas, only scam. So when we scored, I'm looking at them like, you. I don't know, because I don't usually go there, that VIP area, so. But thanks for letting <laughs> educating yeah, yeah, us, yeah, yeah, us yeah, poor yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, us yeah, poor senior people. man. Thanks. Let us not expose you here. <laughs> you take you that private jet. Oh. Let us not expose you here, but it's okay. The, you understand? All right, because... Okay. <laughs> so when, when, when the goal went in, and funny enough, where I was sitting, you know, a few other people were there, everyone was shocked. But from our angle, I felt it was offside. So if you watch my stories, and Ruga, what's his name, Ruga, the musician, was mm. behind me, so he was trolling me. I'm like, from what I saw, now man, you found Abi. Yeah, now man, you found that Ruga yeah, Abi. Man, you found, and then he wore my jersey. They're normally you're not supposed to actually wear, apart from Arsenal and Mofti. Mm. So for some reason, they allowed him, which was good. But the, the, my fans there started trolling immediately. But we, me personally, because the the box I was sitting is near at where Ganacho scored, so mm-hmm. I was like, for me, oh, it's offside. And then when we now saw the VR, I'm like, oh God. And it was taking too much time. So everybody was panicking. But I mean, eight, eight minutes against my U is done. But we knew that when Maguire came in, Evans came in, maybe we might have a chance. Because when those two came out, we started trolling. And then the fans started chanting uh, Maguire's name. That's not fans started chanting Maguire's name. So, you know, when it was now, <laughs> that's not fans started then gingering the team to, you know, come on, come on, come on. And, you know, we did it. Mm. And then obviously, you know, I know you asked us about uh, Rice's goal and the reaction, but I mean, the, the, the shock. Yeah, we'll, of, we'll uh, definitely get to that. Don't worry. <laughs> well, I, Louis, 
obviously, um, you were watching the game as well. When that goal went in, what was going through your mind? What were you thinking? What... I was just thinking of how horrid the next two weeks were going to look for me. That was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I lost everything at that point. I was like, oh my God. It was already even looking bad because... I'd already seen like comments where people were already calling me already on my phone that like, oh you guys have lost blah blah so it looked already looked rough in this space of like 30 seconds to a minute and then when VR called literally up, I was like okay good but I didn't expect Which, the fun in the game to be fair. The funniest thing, if you rewatch the reaction, you see me as soon as the goal went in, my first reaction is it's offside. But when they can obviously we can't hear the commentary because we turned it off. I'm I'm just seeing Players are still celebrating. Ganacho is now pointing at the Man U fans. He's getting excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, have they given it? Have they not given it? I don't know. Gunali, where were you, were you at the game? Or no, I, you know, I was. No, no, no. Do you know what? I was actually out watching it with a few, three, a few friends, and it's it's funny because when Kalechi said that he thought it was offside straight away, I thought it was not offside. But a few people were saying it's offside, and I was like, how have we seen this? So then obviously I'm waiting for the replays. And when the replay, the first replay came up, I was like, nah, he's 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 on, he's on, he's on. And then when I saw it again, I feel like maybe I convinced myself, but I did think, yeah, no, it's offside, it's offside. But if it was me <laughs> and it was the other way around, I would have been fuming. But I think what I did see later Fumes. on, what I saw later on online, I saw a lot of better quality, you know, lines drawn. And I, you know, it's clearly mm -hmm. offside. So I think if it was given... Knowing what I've seen now, I would have been fuming. But listen, I think we have to give a lot of praise to Gabrielle because you know that Michael Jackson, <laughs> you've been hit listen, by a smooth criminal. Smooth criminal. Listen, bro, you know you're in the group chat, yeah. And, and listen, yeah, man, man, we're getting too bitter, bitter, you know. But too nice. excited, bro. It was, it was nice, man. And you know what? I, I even watched a lot of the AFTV fan cams, and uh, like everyone was saying, you know, where they were sitting. Some of them thought it was offside. Some of them thought it, you know, they couldn't really tell. So it's it's a funny one. But listen, man. You know what? You got your little speed run out in um in Ganacho, bro. You, maybe you're too quick. You're too quick for your own. Too man. quick. You know the ones there, bro. Hey, too eager, bro. Too yeah, eager. Too Relax easy. yourself. <laughs> and and you know the funniest part about that? I said it was offside at first, but I was convinced it was on because of how or everything that was going on in front of me. So I set my mindset to anyone it, thought straight away it was offside. I, I don't the, understand. I, when I saw no, it, first, I like, I, that's like, yeah, I'm, because I'm, it looks like I'm like now, they they stepped yeah, up. They stepped up. Surely that was. was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely close enough. I thought it was a clear offside, but it was. I thought it was clear. And you know what? When I first saw it, when I first saw it, I was thinking, you know what? Because I think who was it? Saliba. Gabrielle and Declan Rice, they just kind of just stood there. So I thought they just think, oh, maybe I made a mistake and then they've just gone through. Because then mm -hmm. Gabriel started, I don't know if you look, he, he looked over to the right to see the linesman and then he started to sprint backwards. So I thought he was just praying. I didn't think he did, yeah, I didn't see yeah, the, yeah. the move back, first of all. So got you, got I'm you, like, you. how did you not see it was offside straight away? I don't know, but maybe people got better eyes than me, man. I don't know. Hey, brother, but as it was, the longer it was taken, I'd convinced myself mentally, ah, so go, ah, go, go. I was just, I was hearing my phone, brr, 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 on the time. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going at Ty's voice note was in there. I'm like, oh, shit. But obviously you saw my reaction as soon as I realised it was freaking offside, bro. I lost it, mate. Lost it. Shit house, re all sorts. Can there be what? Obviously, we haven't actually spoke about what was going through your head at the time. Obviously, I could see it. I could see the pain in the studio. But what, what were you thinking about as that goal went in at the time that it went in as well? I was just thinking I'm going to get the whole world roasting me for like the last <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> but but um, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was a goal. From the moment I saw it, I thought, damn, these guys have done the smash and grab without playing anything. Arsenal, all the possession, all the pretty play, and these guys come and win. But I guess we were lucky, and for the fact that Gabriel was streetwise, that was street mm. wisdom right there from Gabriel for him to, you know, give us the Michael Jackson and lean back a little bit like Fat Joe. Mm -hmm. And you know, <laughs> we got we got the decision. In fact, that changed the game for me. That was the nah. that was the that was the moment that changed the game for us because if that had gone in. I don't know. I don't know. That's how game we're over. We're not. We're not scoring again. We weren't scoring again. I don't again. know how we're going to come back from that. But as soon as as soon as it 
it was declared that it was offside. It felt like we scored a goal. And Literally, you even saw, you even saw Kenichi, what was the reaction from the crowd? Like how? Like because I didn't, hear, I wasn't there. What? How did the crowd react when yeah, that goal was burned? Like can it be said? We started celebrating. You know, I ran to Ruga, I ran to, ah! and then we started, you know, whipping up the team. You know, you know that's why sometimes you know when people say that when you whip up a crowd, they galvanize the team. You know, it happens, and that's why you see our captain. You know, they got he keeps doing that. Like so, we said, you know. Hyping them and gingering them, and yeah, he, he can't yeah. take away his um equalizer actually a minute after. Uh, literally, my United scored again. It's the mm-hmm. same fans governance, and that's why you've seen a few tweets recently. I can't remember the well. Here's an here's a here's a very un- unpopular opinion about that equalizer without Kai Havertz. We're not scoring that goal, though. You know that. All right, moving on. Um, okay, back into the comment section. <laughs> hey, bro, stop this, bro, stop this. You're not gonna get me nah. bigging up Kai Havertz. Big up is is Sayas. From Eritrea, big up, bro. Love you guys from Eritrea. Big you up, man. We worldwide out here. Love that. Honestly, I was confident it was offside, but sweating for a minute. Yeah, we, I think a lot of us were in that position, man. I was definitely sweating for more than a minute, my guy. My whole family loves watching your channel. Big up to you guys. Kalechi, my guy, still waiting for you at Woolwich Arsenal. LOL. Maybe someone that you know or you've seen at a game. Who knows, man? I'll just let Kalechi read this one himself because me, I know they speak up. At least, the, at least the, the comment section know what Kalechi's about, and I don't have to. I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I know how to. We know. Hey! Shout out Virginia Beach boys. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna, we're gonna come surfing with the Arsenal jersey on the beach. Don't worry, we're coming. Hundred <laughs> percent. F- funny how certain players at Man U are the difference between a win and a draw. Mm, interesting. Man U players, they're out there. Please, please, please. Only Rashford that is good in that team. <laughs> I see lies about the lines. They did their thing. They, 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 yeah. I thought they played well. Eric but do you, did did you not feel why? that they, they seemed like Nottingham Forest were at our ground? Same thing. <laughs> They played the same way as Forest did when we played them, I think. Yeah, exactly. Just contact. Yeah, yeah Man United play like their immutable team. That's why they're immutable right now. They yeah. go away from home, they sit back, they counter. You're a big team. How can you be countering? Don't you want to have the ball? No, no, that one is oh. a tactic. It's a different tactic. You want to have the ball, that's fine. Me, yeah, I don't want to. Have I can it. never understand that being <laughs> my team. Like, like, if I was a Man United fan, I would never understand that. Ah, uh, Guna Lee t- definitely say this to the missus, man. Abby says, Guna Lee too, they take Gary. I know he did job Gary. Oh, no. he, did, he did job everything. You know Don't worry. You know this is the time my missus would say, smooth, 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 smooth. <laughs> smooth, smooth. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's confirmed. She says, true that job, babe. She's confirmed. Oh, 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 day. Big up, big up. But, guys, I, I want to talk about our team now. Obviously, we talked about our reaction, but because what I loved most about the game was Man United went one nil up. We kept, we answered before I could even be upset about the decision. They scored, equalized straight away. We went, as you said, we went uh, two one down potentially. There was a whole lot of drama, commotion. It was late on in the game. We didn't lose our heads of all that commotion. We said, okay, we've been, gi- we, we literally saw it as we've been given an extra lifeline. Let's go and capitalize on it. And the boys kept going. Like, regardless of what you think about our performances this season, for me, the grit, the, the spirit of our team, I think that, that was what showed in that 100 minutes at the Emirates Stadium. I don't know if any of you agree with what I'm saying. I do agree with you. Arsenal showed me that they don't die. That's what I learned. Arsenal this season, they might not be playing well, but it will be very scary when we hit form. But right now, we're grinding our results. We have not lost the game yet. Yes, we dropped points at Fulham, which I think was over-exaggerated and people panicked too much. I thought that mm-hmm. Fulham were played well on the day. Everybody felt like it was a crisis, which was rubbish. But we showed hunger. We showed desire. We really showed that we're a really good side, even when we don't play well. So I'm very satisfied. I can't wait for them to hit form. Guna Lee, you know were what? you confident when you saw the lineup? Go on, go on, let's go. You, you know what? It's funny because a lot of people are saying that we, we haven't played well or we're not playing well. I just want to quickly spend like two minutes going through the games we played. I think the first game against Nottingham Forest, 
we absolutely dominated them for the first 70 minutes. I think after that, we got a bit nervy and then they scored the goal. So let's just say that that game overall, as a consensus, I thought we played quite well. We then go to the second game where we played um, uh, Crystal Palace away. We absolutely dominated the game. We got a red card, which was unfortunate, which we knew all see wasn't a red card. And then mm-hmm. they, Crystal Palace could have still been trying to score and they wouldn't have scored. I, I was Facts. very calm. Facts. They had one Facts. chance. So down to 10 men, we dug in and I thought we still played pretty well. We then looked to the Fulham game. Now, I will say for sure, I was I was a bit more concerned than maybe some other people, only because I thought, I, you know what, I kept forgetting that Fulham went down to 10 men and we conceded. So that was my mm. worry, you know, the concentration. I, I think people keep forgetting that we went down to 10 men. It's like, I mean, they went down to 10 men. So that was the concern for me. But I thought, you know, overall, it was all right. And listen... I remember I was in the studio with Kelechi and I listen, Kelechi and I, I, I was given, you know, is he me or is he? Hey, no, it was it was good. Hey, I, I, I thought it was me. I'm not gonna lie, but it was oh, good. He was, leave, dropping, he was dropping jewels. <laughs> He was nah, dropping, he was some, dropping juice some, right some gems there. right there, bro. Am I back? Am I back? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You're, yeah, you're yeah, showing yeah. that you're with a Niger for sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll be honest, bro. I need to give I need to give a lot of flowers to Eddie, bro. And 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 Kelechi, you'll remember I was a lot, I was very, very disheartened by some of his performances when when I was with you. But listen, I thought he didn't score on on, on my, against Man United, but I thought he put in a world class performance. And I'm and I don't say that lightly. I thought he held the ball up. I thought he linked well the rotational play. I don't know if you remember on the left hand side he chased the ball from Lindelof and then Lindelof kicked him in the head. I think mm. the even the goal that Odegaard scored. Go and watch it back. Eddie yeah, was, was there, ready to receive the yeah, ball in the case he was there. And he was he Martinelli. So for me, yeah, Martinelli, for yeah. me, I'll be honest, man. I think the last two games, I've, and then he came on the, uh, against uh, Fulham. He he obviously got the he, he scored the goal. And listen, forget the the, the tee up from Fabio Vieira, but the finish. If that was Haaland, if that was Lewandowski, if that was Suarez, if that was Henri, people would be waxing Liverpool. That's a very difficult finish, and he scored it. So listen, man. I'm not here to be shameless. It When the time's right, I will say, listen, I'm not too infused by somebody. But listen, I'm not going to sit here and say anything else. But overall, I think players are playing well individually. And I think the system has been good. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say we haven't played well. I don't think we've played poorly. I, and I, I, don't, I would challenge anybody to dissect the games. No. Do, you, do you know what? We've played do you know what, Gunnelly? I think it's a lot more... I think just now... We're back, bro. So the eyes, like, and let's be honest, I didn't want to be saying this. We're back in terms of we're feared across the whole of the league, bro. Mm, mm. Like we're on the tongue of everyone right now. Like what we did last season, the rest of the league are thinking, oh yeah, that's the norm now. Arsenal always come out yeah. of the blocks fast. Like we, we, that's not us. That's not our thing. We did it. Don't get it twisted. And like, we were enjoying it. But that doesn't. But every season is different. As many people are saying, it right, we I don't think, always I, have to start I, fast; just accumulate I, points. I think people are looking at, and again, I don't know what you guys think. I think people are looking mm. at us and think because we're not doing what we did last season, we're not playing well. But every season is different. So what Man City did last season isn't going to be the same thing they did this season. But they're still doing well in their own mm-hmm. right for this season. So I just think it's four games. I think we've had a lot of control. We've had a lot of possession throughout games. And I think it really is a thing where when you actually look at each game, I don't really think that you can say we haven't played well. I think we've defended well. I think that, well, in certain games, I think we've also played well in certain games. And I think ultimately we've created chances. We should have scored two or three goals against Man United more. We should have scored way more goals against Fulham. Sack had missed a chance, you know. So I think I, 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 the Nottingham Forest, I was fuming because I was like, we should have been getting two or three goals in that game. We we battered them quite quite heavily in the first half, especially. So, for me, look, I think a lot of people are understating how well we've played per- personally. But maybe I've got blinkers on. But yeah, yeah. There was someone that definitely has blinkers on is Ibi Kunle Balogun. What a delusional bunch he's calling us. Who the hell fears Arsenal, bro? I, I don't even need to tell you. This guy's obviously not an Arsenal fan, but. His team had a little bit of a rough ride last year, so he's just finding his feet again. So, Kunle, don't worry. Liverpool are playing well, bro. Don't worry about what we're doing. 
You are scared of us. That's why you didn't come to the studio for the second half of last season, my bro. Because you were scared of us. And everyone and Tunnel TV know what you're about, sir. Pipe down, but but <laughs> Louis. Oh Ke my God! Between Louis and Kelechi, I want either of you to kind of respond to this because what Ibikunle does say says Arsenal haven't had one convincing performance this season. Although I agree with Gunali in terms of how we played well enough to win every game comfortably, I would say. But what would you say about the overall performances, though? What do you what do you take from because we had we started a new formation, a couple of new players like, in? Yeah, like you said, the new formation uh, was trying out a new system. That's one, but we're playing well. We weren't doing badly. It wasn't convincing like last season because we started with the plan last season, the same eleven from preseason going into the season. So we looked a bit strong. But if you look at the game against Palace, we looked calm. We looked good. It was until the red card. And after the red card, Thank you very we much. managed the game well. So you can't say that we've not had the convincing performance this season we have. Bro, you know the and funny thing And if you look at is... all the top six teams, can it be all the top, even Man City with a 100% record, they have not really played as well as we know they can play. There's no team that has really showed that identity yet. Every team is still... Yeah, but do you know what they're saying about that, Louis? What they're saying in response to the Man City one, they're like, oh, but we know they'll get better. They're City. So they, so, so everyone's letting them off, but because it's Arsenal and we started a little bit slower, they're, they're, they're criticising us. Yeah, definitely. But the funny thing fine. is, maybe, it's it's better we start maybe like you can't really blame them because beating Manchester United these days is nothing. I mean, sports beat Man United now. So what's really special about beating Man United? <laughs> this this, so this is that's true. true. So why? So you can't really blame them. Like, we beat Man United, so what? Everybody beats Man United now. Man United are Brighton next, so... Really, actually, my United might be in the relegation battle very soon. But, but you know what, though, Louis, uh, guys, I think, and I guess, you know, when like, I just bought my, I just bought a flat, right? And big up, I'm, not, leave, feeling, by the way. I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling comfortable. Yet. <laughs> Hey, hey, money day! Money day! You know what? In the way, I, I, I couldn't let. Calm, man. Calm, man. Calm, man. Okay, 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 okay. We go calm. We go calm. You know, I don't want no one to be looking for me on these streets. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when you buy your place, you buy. You, you don't feel comfortable yet until you make it into a home. You feel comfortable, and that's the same thing with the Arsenal formation. I don't know what you think, Louis, but this new formation. We're not comfortable yet, but we're still doing what we need to do. We're still set in stone, and you know we're you know we're moving, we're shaking. So it isn't you know going to be straight away. But listen, man, I think people just be you know people will find anything to moan about in it. And the haters and go hate. I'm not going to lie, the new formation. I'm not last season. I was looking at our money nine, ten, and eleven mm -hmm. now. What, what, what no, was last about? season? We scored eighty-eight goals last season. We considered forty-three goals, and we only lost six games and drew six games. No, but Kelechi, Kelechi said something interesting just then, though. No, 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 I'm not, I'm you not, said you're I'm not, not what? I'm not comfortable with the um, experimental right back party situation. Um, I, I mean, so I, I see it in two ways. Kudos to Ateta. When we kind of lost the league last season, instead of playing party at right back. So it's like, okay, I need to work out something else to go with next season. So I have to give him that. But during preseason, he never did that. And preseason mm. is supposed to be trying out new things. For the first time I played party at right back, I was like, at least United at home. I was shocked. Because not that party cannot play, but with his injury record, uh -huh. he's going to be sprinting up and down. Ah. Something stretch there. So I, I like him in the middle, pass your two short pass, double back small, mm -hmm. you know, keep it simple. You have to should play right back. I said, okay, no problem. He's the coach. I believe in that. I let him do what he got to do. But the first few games that he has been playing there, and then we, we've been conceding. <coughs> I'm like, if a traditional right back with Ben White is there, I don't think because I'm not trying to blame them for the goals, but the system that you, they're still trying to adjust. You can't be adjusting to a new system in, in, during the season. If you change and, the system, for instance, when you're mm -hmm. playing Manchester City, you've been conceding at Man City, you don't want to change something like this, then I'll understand. Mm -hmm, but not, mm -hmm. if you start a new system during the season, maybe you're thinking, Oh, well, it's not here for us, it's full, and we should get three points with this new system. But it's the Premier League, anybody can beat anybody any day. Right. So, personally, right. I wasn't comfortable with party playing there. 
I, I, thought, I, I honestly thought that Declan Rice coming was a stretch for, for Jaka, who I didn't actually want mm. us to sell anyways. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. And then mm -hmm, just continue mm -hmm. like that because we have that... a system, a set system. Yeah, you can tweak it one or two games here and there. Then number two, I'm seeing Pate at right back and I'm seeing Rutimba at left back. So wait, two of them will be inverted. <laughs> I don't understand. I so hear it. Oh, I hear it. You I hear what you're but saying, but... I but let, 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 I'm a rookie. The manager knows more than I do. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong. No. But seeing it, I'm thinking, this is exposure. No. I'm with you because definitely, just like you, I had the alarm bells too. But I want to try and play devil's advocate in this scenario because Gunali did highlight some really good points. Because at the end of the day, as much as we didn't like it, we it, in every game that you've watched, you've watched us create enough chances to win the game, right? Everybody can agree with that. We've created enough chances yeah, to win the game. Fulham, Obviously, do we, do we really? We 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 created enough to win the no, game, bro. We should have. We should have. Wait, collection. Nah, you, collection. Nah. Which game do you think we've not created? In? We which, said which Fulham. He said Fulham. 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 Yeah. In the first half, they should have gone two, three nil up. <laughs> in the first half, mm. I was panicking. Nah, I think, I think Fulham, the... Fulham, nah. For, no, no, but I said, I said Fulham, dude, that was a shaky one. I, that was my yeah, concern. Yeah, you said I, it. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, I'm what I was I... saying is, what I was saying is, I didn't think that we were actually as bad as people were making out. So I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I think people were going too far the other way. No, they were going like, too far. Oh, yeah, we were... I never go too far. But what I'm trying to say is that even the Crystal Palace game we are talking about, apart from Eddie's two chances, which other chance did we really create? No, but think about no. Nah, okay, but no. Okay, I'll go back to you. I'll come back to you. Okay, but what chances? Oh, okay, let's Palace is a have? difficult place to huh? get what results. What chances did Crystal Palace have? We played our game there. No, Louis, sorry, yeah, no, that, me, sorry, 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 Louis. One sec, one sec. He said, "What what chances did um Crystal Palace said? Is that is that what you said, Gulley? Yeah. What what chances did Crystal Palace have in the game? Because I don't remember any. No, if you don't remember any. Doesn't mean that. But I'm not. I'm supposed to be outscoring somebody. At the moment, I'm fifth on the league because I'm not scoring plenty okay, goals. But Eddie should have scored two goals. Fine, I get that. But with more um, super uh, white playing on the right and uh, Saka cutting in, they have that understanding. I, I feel that we'll create even more chances. I feel no, that no, this... no, you're you're right. I'm I'm agreeing with I'm in agreement with you 100 percent But Eddie missed in essence an open goal. That's the first one. And then the other one, okay, he was unlucky. He hit the post. So um, I'm not gonna, you know, kill him because he played no, very well. Open make... post, please. He kicked the goalkeeper. It was not an open post. The keeper was open. Come on, man. Yeah. No. Come on, we're professional. It was not an open post, please. He's please, professional. Please. Come on. We, uh, listen, I'm giving him his flowers. So I'm gonna also say, come on. I'm yeah, 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 but it was not an open post. <laughs> if a goalkeeper is rushing to you, the post. That's not nice what we call the Kete. I know pick call, though. You know pick call that day, but no problem. So you know what I'm saying is that. Which other chance did you create? That. Which other chance did you create? No, no but Martin is... Martin Eddie had a really good one that yeah, um perfect. that he should have yeah, taken when Havertz put him through. That would have been a little assist for Havertz. Yeah. I think mean, there was a couple of other ones, man. We we definitely had enough to win. We're very wasteful in front of goal, Kelechi. Very wasteful. That's that's what you won't call first that you won't very... call that wasteful. You need to come. No, we chances. are wasteful, though. Kelechi with the waste chances, though. Eh? No, you won't call the that with that chances. game. Waste ah, no, the game against Palace. Yeah, Eddie should be burying that. I he get that. Be you are talking that. about when, you're, when I'm talking about I'm wasting food and wasting water. I'm leaving it to pour. He plenty <laughs> and wasteful. If I throw, I get where you. I get where you're coming from. You're I saying because you're it's not, see the tap no they flow anyhow, so that's why it's not wasteful. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Right. <laughs> if I if even that day was even declared that was creating chances. <laughs> it was the nah, I hear it. Against oh, Fulham, he gave he gave he gave somebody a very good pass. I think who yeah, did he give that so, pass to? So these are these are the things, and I'm like, if the price is creating just against them, um, Crystal Palace against Fulham, then play him in the eight, then no problem. And then play party in the six, no problem. Like, nah, I'm, 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 I'm with you. Said, the experiment is good to do, but it, personally, it didn't really work. It didn't it didn't it resonate well with you. At this Manchester United, Rashford. Ah, play. for Flogger. Wait, the question is: Do you think if Partey was fit, we would have still had that lineup? I don't know. I don't know. I was Louis. Praying, Louis, what do you I think? Was no, I, no. I, I believe Rashford I against Partey, and I watched that last season. Is that for it? Is still him and start too? <laughs> I want to play match them there, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think he would have played Partey, Partey at right back. I believe he would have played Partey in midfield. So, so yeah. do you reckon that he would have benched Havertz then? 
and put yeah. party and rice. 100%. Mm, interesting. The 100%. crazy shit is that we will actually never know about that, which think, is so I annoying. Believe, I don't believe he will play party, especially with the goal we considered against the uh, Fulham. Yes, Saka played a bad pass, but because he's not used to playing in that position, he had already moved into the midfield. And that's what created the space for Pereira to have that chance. Fair. I don't think we would have played him there because of Rashford. Even with Ben White playing there, we saw what happened. Um, uh, hey, I'm not going to lie, bruv. What Rashford is doing to Ben White is because borderline bullying, man. He kept saying, all right, Ben, let's have a go again. All right, I don't know I don't know Rashford what he's got on Ben. This Arsenal is disgusting. Man. I don't know what he's got on Ben, but that matchup, fam, I was scared every time they were one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know about you lot, man. It was scary. Second half, yeah, second half. Yeah, second half too. Rashford was a better player in terms of intelligence, not just cutting and shooting all the time. Would have been, would have been finished because he potentially had where, he, we had chances where he had beaten Ben White. He had the space. He beat Ben White. He had chances to pass to Marcia or Anthony mm -hmm. free, but he kept cutting into. But he was greedy. But, I, we're lucky. I won't lie. The, 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 would have been done. Rashford and Bruno's greed kind of w went against Manchester United on Sunday because there was opportunities where I was like, if he just released it here. Wahala day. Guys, we've got 95 people in the chat right now. Make sure you smash the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to get into some of the comments because there's some very, very funny individuals here. John MC says, Arsenal the giant awakens and rears up its head once again. I love that, John. Preach. Ibrahim, delusional FC. I wonder I'm what team you support. You, I wonder yeah, what team you support, Ibrahim, bro. Uh, wow, wow, you, wow. The fact said they're back. Bro, we are back. And what I don't mean we're back in terms of we're, we're, we're winning all the trophies. We're back in terms of we intimidate people now. People are scared. We, and there's going to be certain teams we beat in the, in, the, in the, what's it called? The tunnel on the way in, bro. That is going to happen. We're not quite invincible level or winning the league level because we've not done it yet. But people definitely fear us. Except Manchester City, I'd say everyone else fears us, man. I don't know if you guys agree. I don't know if I'm, I'm talking out of hand now. Please let, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Please. But why are you talking to someone who is 11th? Man United is 11th. I don't want to hear all this page to talk. They should go and be dancing with Chelsea. <laughs> Enter page one and we will re revisit that discussion with you. you know what, Alistair Ben United says... As well, yeah. These Man United fans, they be crying that things didn't go their way, but they've been cheering for the last 30 years. So it's only what you deserve. So stop crying man. literally and fx i never said the more the most feared club i never said that i said this people are starting to fear talking. us again please this is a <laughs> Chelsea fan. Chelsea fan. hey dude, hey you're trying to get goodly in trouble the hit man man leave him man let him enjoy it oh what's the Chelsea fan doing in the comment section please go and pray go to church <laughs> Chelsea fans should be in church right now pray for Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> you should be in church right now <laughs> Literally, bro. Um, what city haven't been? What city haven't been back to their best yet? End of Abby says, Make we support our people. Come on, you gooners. 100%. Abby, thanks for says, the super chat. Appreciate that, Abby. But when Partey plays right back, he isn't asked to run the flanks, he's asked to drift into midfield. So the talk of running up and down, I'm not buying it. I hear you, but he's definitely doing more running as a right back than he is. As a DM, uh, can, can we be can we be confident that about that, Tolu? They want Saliba to overwork himself. I don't understand the formation personally. If you have two people in fighting, you're exposed. You're exposed. You're giving more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What do I do? And, just look yeah, around. and even even the game, even against the um, Mayu, you, you see that Ben White was also coming into the midfield at some point. And that was what was giving Rashford that space. But like I said, Rashford is a good player. But the problem, man, the, pro the, the problem is your manager is a revolutionary. And football right now, eh, the managers are going crazy. They are turning fullbacks to midfielders, midfielders to fullbacks, right. strikers to wingers, wingers to strikers. That's the pattern football has been going on. And I think Ateta is one of those guys that he's trying to, you know, add his own mark in the world of football. Like maybe change something, be a revolutionary. Fortunately for us, Arsenal fans, we're not that patient like that. So I hope he comes good. <laughs> but right now, he's going to experiment a lot, though. 
someone that said we are, we played 36 formations, 45 formations in one match. I No, but do you know what? Yeah, do you know what? I, when I first heard it, I was a bit like, what? But then I was like, do you know what? I don't need to understand it. The press don't need to understand it as long as when he's inside that training, those guys understand what's going on. That's all that matters because me, I don't need to understand 34 formations. And I know he didn't change his formation 34 times either. He was just trying to bamboozle the crowd. I mean, the, 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 the press. I think he's over trying to do the pet thing in the press conferences, which is OK. I mean, there could be a lot worse teachers to his game than uh, Pep Guardiola. So all these people that say, no, he's a mini Pep. He's trying to copy Pep. And so... And so, someone that's won how many uh, titles? Uh, Why wouldn't he try and copy someone like that? Are you okay? (laughs) I think last time we were here, when we had the uh, last week, I think the challenge now, I think for this season, is we need to be resolute at the back. I think that's where where we need to get it right. I totally agree with you, my brother. If we don't concede as much goals. Uh, I was watching one of the live streams the other day, one of the... uh, Wow, 100 people in the chat for the first time ever on Tano TV. Big up, guys. Another milestone. Big up. Thank you, Lato. Thank all of you. Sorry, continue, Louis. Sorry. It's guaranteed that we score, that we we concede a goal. And it's it's, it's showing against Fulham, considered a goal. Two goals, actually. Against Forest against United. So, I think that's what we need to change. We need to change that narrative of conceding goals. I think if you can do that, I, I, it be better. And then, guys, and I want to talk about the conceding sold, goals thing. We let them create any goal. We sold Rob Holding. Like, we are bad team in defence with yeah. um, Timbers injury. Yeah, We are bad team. So, why not keep Tierney? Again, he didn't even bring anybody in. So, just one more injury now. we we'll start panicking. And they're exactly. about to be right back. You know, you know oh, what? Edward Ateta, I don't even understand so tight, They'll do we... well. They'll, they'll make you excited in the first half of the window. Then the second half, um, they'll trick they'll you off, man. Your, I'll change it for you. <laughs> I think the second half of the window was underwhelming for us. The window, though, I think when you look at the window, it, the, the, uh, that injury was very unfortunate. And I'm not saying here, but I think Uganda. he just doesn't yeah. rate. He just doesn't rate Tierney. He doesn't think Tierney can offer anything. What, well, how, he was so loyal to him in the first like, couple yeah, seasons, yeah, though, Gunali. Why, why has that happened? I'm not saying I, listen, well, I'm not saying I agree or disagree. What I'm saying is, I just okay. think what Arteta looks at is he said, You know what? Even though I've got a body, it's a useless body because he cannot no, do but, what I get, but that, that this is well, probably well, in that position, position why we lost the position, league. Lead. In that you see that Liverpool game, I was there. Ask Robbie, I was telling him, This is the time to remove the gen and put in, just do the basics. Like it's 70 like, minutes, Abi. Bam. The everything. end. We go win that game. Like, like, like that. This is what the reason. Sorry, Louis. Sorry. Both, both Liverpool and West Ham games, everything I said in that game will happen. And everybody looking at me. When they brought in um, Trossard against West Ham, I'm thinking, it didn't work against Liverpool. It doesn't work. You see that one that Hoyland boy came in against Man U. I mean, against us. You see the body was doing. Gabriel was panicking. Mm-hmm. You pay your defender. That's why I like him getting a play. He might not score always. But he will worry you. Trossard is there. The ball is bouncing. Trossard will mark Zuma. I'll be mark uh, what's it, the, the Liverpool defend all those giants. The ball will mm-hmm. bounce back. He cannot stick. It's, this is just basic football. Though. This is not yeah. practice. Hold the ball up, throw the foul. I guess Crystal Palace, that's what happened. Keta was playing there. When we went down to tell him, he was drawing foul. When he left, uh, what's his name? Hazard, I mean, Harvard's game. You know, you bully the small draft. That's it. Mm-hmm. You manage the game. If you put Trossard there, how will he manage the game? How? These are the things. Sometimes just go back to the basics. Nothing like that. Just hoof the ball sometimes. <laughs> and if you look at like our I, position, like I told you guys, left back position. Tien is the best defensively. You know, Zichenko is defensively, good forward, but defensively, Tien is the best we have. And then nah, nah, he's not better than what? I, tell you, I, can, I can tell you now. The best defensive player we have. Ah, uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Tommy Yassi, I'm telling you, one of uh, Tommy Yassi, Okay, I'm not, I'm not mad at that one. I thought you were going to say Kivio, but I'm not mad at that. You look at Tommy Yassi. <laughs> I thought you were going to give you. <laughs> the problem is, can he <laughs> stay fit? I'm telling you. Can he, he stay fit? Saliba. Listen, Saliba is top, top, top. But when you look at Tommy Yassi, the way he marked Mo Salah, went to the left-hand side to do it as well. The way that every single time, when he's proper and he's fit and he's had a run of games to, you know, acclimatise, 
one on one, I'm telling you, Tommy Ash is the best one on one defender we have. One hundred percent. One on one, I, I'll give you that, but we one on one I, probably it, like you it, said, like it, not from, from, yeah. from left back position because apart from yeah, I, I prefer him. And obviously, he did a job on Salah that yeah. time, but us as well as well. Yeah, but I, I understand what he's trying to say. It's just like what that yeah, so do I. That look, that look marked out. Uh, ah, Saka. Marked so when, when, because he's cutting into his favorite food to Dalot's favorite food, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's why Tomiyasu will try and left back because Salah is cutting into his left, his right foot, and he's okay, okay. with that. Re real quick before we move on, I have a question about that Saka and Martinelli situation. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. I can let you don't attack me you because it's just Tatis and they talk. Oh, I beg. Just, just, just sit back, small, because I go. I maybe offend you. What I say next? <laughs> so look, as much as I, I don't mind Eddie. I'm a. Uh, he's growing on me, Eddie. I believe in a match like that, Jesus should have started because, for example, a player like Wan Bissaka is a great one-on-one -on -one defender. So someone like Martinelli to be effective in a game like that needs someone that can help open up the space which what Jesus would have done. So I believe Martinelli and Saka would have gotten more space in behind if Jesus was playing. But if the, but I do believe when you start Eddie, I prefer to start a winger like Trossard because he can work in tight spaces and doesn't necessarily need the space because of his technical ability. But if you're going to play Martinelli and Saka, it's proven back in the last season, Inketia and Martinelli don't work very well together because of the movement and stuff. I'm not saying Inketia is bad, but I just think... Having him in the same starting lineup as Martinelli, it just never works, man. And I think Saka would have got more space behind that. If both too. strikers are fit, the senior striker should start. And that's his For sure. It's simple. When he just came on against Fulham, he clearly looked off. He just came out from an injury. Mm -hmm. So you have to bed him in slowly. You understand? So in two weeks' time, if both of them are fit, he's gone off to Brazil now for international and they're fit. First, definitely, you start with the senior striker. I don't have a problem with that. But for this Man United game, Nketiah had to start because this guy just came back from injury. And that's all. Big up, man. Well, Big up, man, like true. Tony Claude, bro. I understand, why, tired, I, I understand why Eddie started because it would have been unfair, unfair to him to bench him because he has done well. Yeah, I get he's it. Too, our, I get it. He's been one of our better players up front. So he, he's been better than Saka since the start of the season. Funny enough, I'm that he has scored the goal. So this is true. Uh, it's all right. But for Weird that to say, but game, true. But for that particular game, I would have played Jesus because of the experience, the, the unpredictability, and they able to they able to beat defenders. You saw when he came on, he was taking on guys and um, or more. I'm saying that he just came back from an injury. I'm going to defend. I'm going to defend. I'm going to defend Eddie right now. You know what? I think yes, yes, Jesus came on and he was really good, really good. But I think one. He played against a different defence. He didn't play against Martinez and he didn't play against Varane and he didn't play against Lindelof. Two, sure. I think Eddie did all the work to make these guys more tired, which then allowed Jesus to come on and do his trickery. And listen, let's, Kelechi's not going to disagree. Jesus is better than Enketia. He is. Mm -hmm. He's just a better footballer. So no one's saying these crazy things. What, I, what, what I'm going to say is, I don't think anybody can sit there and say Eddie had a bad game. I thought Eddie was absolutely no, for sure. Yeah, he had a good game. game. He was and one of our better players. He ran, he ran his socks off, man. Ran, but you know what? It was you know what you know. I don't I don't even want to discredit him because running his socks off. We can talk about Havertz doing that. I think Eddie offered so much more yeah, link up because yeah. Havertz hasn't been doing that. I think the the rotational play Havertz hasn't really been doing that. I think the you know the extra effort to get to things. He just looks like a different player. And listen, I don't know why he didn't choose to go play for Ghana, but listen, that's his. That's oh, more the guy did crazy. But you can't blame him. Though. I can't blame him. I can't blame him. Listen, I can't blame him. Harry Kane goes to be there for the next three, four years, Baba. Don't no matter. Another, the he, next World Cup is in four years. Come on, think about it. Harry, Harry Kane will be there. Harry Kane will be there, bro. He's going to Germany. Know. Where he, where well, he, he didn't chill and just score goals. Well, he might not start. But he might not start. Okay, Kenebi. Okay, Honestly, might not start. do you think? Do you think after in two years' time, in K.O. will still be getting in England? I think. I think the number nine shot for England is up for grabs because Kane is yeah. getting older. Kane is but getting older. Ars Arsenal's number two striker is not going to be the number one striker for England, my guy. But did, you never but, know. But, 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 I'll be honest. No, I do know. It's never going to happen. When's the number two striker for England? 
you never Bro, know. Peter Crouch played, played for England. Let me come tell on. you why. When he was number one at Liverpool at the time. Oh, after oh, the God. World Cup, he came on. He came to the team and he did a job. He scored about seven goals in nine games, if, if I'm correct. Seven straight goals in nine games. Bro, Louis, I down Jesus. Wait, Louis, Louis I understand. Who got seven goals in nine games? Seven goals in nine starts. Don't do it. Don't change the. Don't don't change the. uh, Hey, you tried it there, Louis. Scored more goals than you. Look, from starting position. Now, let's 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 give it the context that 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 comment deserves. Let's not do that. We know that their defenses are in trouble when Nketiah is in the room. We know, bro. We're not. But we're just saying, Garner was a better option for him. For me, I think there's more chance of him. Hold on, hold on. I think for me personally, I think. There's more chance of him starring at a World Cup for Ghana than for England. I don't know what you guys think. That's crazy. You never know, bro. Eddie's Eddie's getting you better. You think better. you think he you think he'll star more for England than Ghana? No, you never bro, know. Listen, no. Is I'll be realistic, Kule. He's playing well for Arsenal. Arsenal is a top two English team right now. He's in the Champions League. He's scoring goals. Bro, Kane is getting older. You never know what's gonna happen next to football. Is like this, man. Anything can happen. Right. So you can't really write him off. That Ferguson, that Brighton boy. He's Irish. He's Irish through English. Now he has withdrawn from the Irish camp. Maybe he's looking for England color. So he can even change. Listen, Declan yeah. Rice, G- Jack Grealish, they both change as well. So yeah, they both change. They, yeah. they can have. So but what I will say, I'll be honest. I will be honest. I think Eddie and Ketu. I think Eddie and Ketu has. He's. I'm not flip flopping. I'm not going to flip flop. But he's showing me. That he can be a very, very good option and a very good rotational player for Arsenal. I, I really do think that. And I and no, listen, I, 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 I hold my hand up to Kalechi because you know Kalechi, he was on my neck that day. He was bro, on, he my was on mine too, too, bro. So I, I don't <laughs> Kalechi, Kalechi. I know you're a celeb, celeb, but you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, respect, no, respect. No, 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 it's just the way I see football, you know. I just believe in supporting all my players because for me, they did not bribe their way. To get to this level, so if you are at this level, there must be something about you. You understand? So facts, as we even have it, you will not see me cause havoc. So no man is to put my hand around you and say, "Yo, bro, you're a baller." I will remind you that you're a baller. It's confidence. He just, bro, havoc is passing back when he should turn and move. It's confidence. <laughs> Learn that he doesn't know how to play football. He's brave of all uh... confidence. You understand? How much more confidence that you need? Your manager has played starting bro, you the, every the, the game. The fan bro. base, but, but bro, you can't blame him, Kunle, because the fan base itself, they have not welcomed him well. They have not welcomed him. Nah, well. they, no, they I disagree. Well. I disagree. No, I disagree. No, the fan base I disagree, have not welcomed bro. Well. Look, Kule, okay, okay, let me better for Germany. Why? Does he? Because they Does he? Kunle, when we sign Kavets. He's done very well, yeah? He's very well, yeah? It's about the love. Trust me. Now, quick, qu- quickly, quickly, before you know, I know you good, even you, you wanted to kill me. Remember the first show we did? Yes, you you don't correct. Yeah, exactly. Correct. So, we, we as now fans, yes. we have yes. not welcomed him well, and you are part of them. So Yes, you I am really part say, of it. Exactly. So, you cannot really say that we, as a fan base, who have even done him well. We we, we slated now, him since he came from Chelsea. But Jorginho wait, is lucky. Wait. He got that goal against Aston Villa. Academy, Academy. You he's know, very you lucky. Me, stay with the video. I want to see this, what he's been saying about Havertz. <laughs> I'll send it to you, bro. <laughs> Our first show, Brava, he's I'll been I'll visiting I'll Havertz. Bro, I'll say it, bro. Bro, I'm not, I'm not hiding the receipts when it comes to Havertz because you're not going to have me come on streams and shamelessly say, oh, I see what I've, Arteta sees when I've been abusing the boy for three years. I can't do that. But what I will do is give him 10 games. He's had four. He's not impressed me yet. No, He's but, got but six he more. Well, like, after... He played really well. Yeah, yes, he, he played really well. Okay, okay cool. Okay. This is the same Kelechi, thing that happened to Chaka. Hold on, hold on. This is the same thing that's hold happened to Havertz. Hold on. Havis, hold on. 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 No, you I can't imagine. Guys on AFTV saying they miss Shaka now. This is the same thing that happened to Granny Shaka. Let okay, so what? Okay, if it's, if it's the, okay, so you're so if you're telling me it's, it's the same now. thing that happened with Granny Shaka, it's that means hold oh, dog, can I land? Ah, let me land. Uh, don't don't so be mad, if, dude. Don't break if, your head. Well, if you keep yeah. cutting me out, I need to land at some point. Don't now. go crazy. I'll go back and have it. Don't go crazy. He's stressing you can out. I, <laughs> can I respond at some point? Can yeah, I? You can Thank respond. You. Thank you. Thank you. So, 
if you're saying the same thing with Kai Havertz as, as Jacka, you're saying the manager is playing him out of position, so people are not appreciating him. Is that what you're saying? Nah, bro. Because that our because that's what happened with Jacka. That's what happened with Jacka. Our fan base. That's what happened with Jacka. Nah, my G. Our fan base is a crazy. So one. that's not what happened with Jacka. Now you're cutting me off. Our fan base is a crazy one. I don't like because it. Because when Granit Xhaka, when Granit Xhaka started, we all booed him. We didn't like him. We wanted him to. We stripped nope. him of the captaincy. Yes, we did. Oh, that was no. That, that didn't yeah, happen to his third season, bro. What are you Ateta talking about? Came in, Ateta came in, gave him some confidence. He started playing well. All of a sudden, he has gone. Oh, our guys on ARTV saying we miss Granit Xhaka now. And, and it's the same thing with Kavert. Give him time. And wait, you guys, bro, you guys also forget that when Xhaka joined Arsenal initially, we had a fit Santi who was playing that deep playmaker role. We gave him the room to move. But when Santi got injured, he started playing as the anchor man. And he's not used to playing that position. So he was always going to make mistakes. That's why he started seeing the red cards and, and what so Even what the red cards, I think he only had two or so. It no, but guys, guys, no, but guys, you, 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 you can maybe and Lou have helped land my point. My point is, if Kai Havertz in the team, I don't have an issue him getting a chance, but him as the left center midfield is not something I like to see. If like, it's but not something I like to see. Career. Where do you want that's to start his career? That's why he started his career. At the, at for, 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 oh, so he's been playing there for Chelsea too, Abby. You know, you know what? At Chelsea, say, he I turned into a false nine. Bro, he's Kuchu. played. He played more games as a as a, as, a, as not in that position for Leverkusen. He didn't play he, predominant of his played, games. He played. He, eight he didn't and blow ten from ten playing as 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 a, a left center midfielder. There's no one that can he tell played, me that. About he blew playing. He always works from the right and coming in, not the left side. What, what That's I'll still say, the what? midfield. What, what I was saying. I never said he didn't play as the midfield. Left center midfield with Zinchenko behind him. For me, I'm scared about it. But as I said, right, I'm willing matter. to give him. It does. It clearly does. It's I'm clear. I, I'm, it does matter the position. So Odegaard should play on the left side. Then, if it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you're a good midfield. It does matter, bro. Game. Don't do that, bro. It's like but, okay, has he slotted? In? Has he slotted in? Give because you guys, he's not confident, like you literally said. Yeah, yeah, listen. He's a human being. Say, listen, this is what I'll say. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I know you need to go, Guna Lee. So, I, I yeah. will say, look, I'm not infused by habits, but what I will say is it's very hard to give a judgment on him because his confidence is so low that it's you, you almost can't even look at him as a as a player right now because he you can't even you can't, this is a nasty thing that he's saying, but anyway, don't worry. Man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know it's you true. Know you I'm know it's true, Gunali. I've let you off for this one, I'm, though. Hold on, hold on. I've literally apologised how many times. How many times? Okay, I've not seen it. I've listen, not seen listen, it, sir. I, I, I do think it's hard to give, and I, I agree with Louis. You know, I do agree. I think you do need to, I think what Arteta needs to do is actually take him out of the team, bring him Thank in you. for the last 20 minutes, and let him yeah. build, you know, slow. Like, you know, like, you know, Arteta says, when you know you slowly you find a girl, you know, you take time, you get to slowly, <laughs> one day, you, yeah, yeah, slowly, slowly. You know, I'm at my nice little get the girl, you know, first time I see her, mm, second time, mm, and then you just, slowly, <laughs> you know, slowly. You, to play, you know, but no, for, for real though, man, I think it's, um, it's very, it's very difficult to give him any sort of flack right now because he's just not, com he's just not confident. And I think that's there's sometimes bigger things that you need to kind of look at from a look. player, and then you can assess them. Gunali, my issue is not necessarily with Havertz, to be honest. It's not with Havertz; it's with Arteta for how he's utilizing him. The ideal scenario for me would have been he comes in just like you said, last twenty minutes of games, maybe when the team's a little bit tired and he can maybe nick a first goal in the last 20 minutes confidence will grow and I was thinking do that up until maybe the Champions League where you give him his first start or the Carabao Cup where you give him his first start where he's a little bit more confident watch the team from the sidelines a bit and he gelled in but I believe Arteta's forced the pressure because he's trying to prove his point let me keep playing him until he plays him into into some confidence and form but I think it's doing more damage than, out, than good at the moment out, though. But if you look at it from Arteta's side, if he didn't start him and everything was amazing, then how does he get him in there? And if he then now takes him out, it's almost like, right, well, how do I get him back in? Because everything looks... So you, you can see it from Arteta's side as well. He's thinking, you know what? I'm going to hopefully keep doing this. Let him keep doing the same mistakes repetitive action so that he can learn and get better you know and that's how he is you know it's a repetitive action and that's what i think he's thinking do i agree 
No, but I can see his point of view. But you know, look, it's difficult. It is difficult because Arteta is in a lose lose basically. He's not in a win win because Arsenal fans don't want him at, at Arsenal because of that reason. So Thank you very much. It's difficult, man. Our fan base is a problem. And moreover, Arteta is also playing him because of his height. Yeah. Defensively, yeah. we really considered um, from set pieces. So no, I, 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 is, is I like then, too, don't the forget profile. That. He was Just playing mostly that. as a striker in uh, Chelsea, so he has to learn this eighth position, I guess. So, mm. but bloody him guys, gradually for me. For me, I don't know. Kelechi, you said it all. It's a confidence thing. This guy it's is a human thing. being. Yeah, this, a guy, this guy is coming from a club that finished 12. They, they finished yeah, yeah. You were expecting to come at on to Ronaldinho when the fans don't even like the fact that we're buying him. See the way we're all together. Bless up, bro. Thanks for coming through again. What I'm going to say is that if somebody is not performing, then you have to maybe bloody me slow your easy mouth because um, the other people waiting on the bench and wondering, what do I need to do? Like, uh, uh, what's his name now? Vieira is going to be wondering, what do I need to do to start ahead of this guy? I've come on now, give three assists or so, if I'm not mistaken. What else do I need to do to start? Um, it's be true. He's not even getting game time. He's going to be wondering what's going on here, but this guy is not performing. because. And I heard someone tell me the other day that if it was uh, Pepe, he would have been benched by now. You know, this kind of thing. So, you don't want that kind of situation. Let's, you know, put it on the table. If he's not performing, okay, we take him out, blood him slowly. But if he feels that playing him like this will give him more confidence, I'm all for it. All I know, I just want three points. That's it. Look, I'm not going to lie, but I didn't I didn't want this to be a, a Havertz bashing or let's lick, stick up for Havertz situation here. Because at the end of the day, we still got 10 points from 12 That's games. It. That's it. So... I'm not upset. I'm will. I'm willing to give. Like, look, I'm willing to give him six more games to show me. And I'm not saying he needs to be exceptional in these six no, games. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this, this is. No, this, no, this let me tell you what. Let me tell you. Um, have an agenda against him. No, you don't need to give him six more. He's your player. You just support him. That's it. No, but okay, wait, wait. wait. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me lie. Let me lie. Let me lie. Let me lie. Let no. Let me tell you where I am. No, this. Let me tell you what I mean by six games. I don't even expect him to be man of the match in any of the six more games I'm talking about. All I need to do is be able to see, okay, I see. I see what this, this manager sees going forward. Because like, what I mean by that... What happens? That's what I'm trying to ask you. You start clamoring then, for Havertz out. No, I'll never, I'll never clamor for a player to so, leave my so club. I'll, I'll, I'll just stop. That's I'll just happens. stop. I'll just like stop that? concentrating on Kai Havertz. I'm not even going to talk about him if he doesn't show me anything in the last, the next six games. I'm giving him six games for me to be involved in what's going on. I'm, I'm in, I, I want him to do well. I want to come on this stream, Kalechi, Ke and shamelessly say, Arteta, sorry, I got it wrong. You are right, I were wrong. Havertz is badly up. I go get Havertz for my back. I don't care. Shameless. I go knee slide every one of his goals. I, I, shamelessly. But Omar, he need, he got to show me some things. But we need, we can't end this stream without talking about man like Declarice. He said, "Do like Declarice, hey, Declarice, hey, hey. Bro, look." If you watch my mm -hmm. video, the video, you, uh, one toy, thank you, you reposted it, thank you. The video, you can see that I, 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 I saw it, it. And I, it looks like this is gonna be a good. I said it there. And then when he got it, I just said, it'd be like the Clarice. Boom. Yes, literally. As soon as he touched you know, it, I just heard Kalechi go, do like the Clarice. And he gave them. Because I, I felt it. I felt it that he was going to scratch. I don't know. I just felt it. <laughs> but now, my, so, you know, my, you know, soft beans now. Yeah, all these wow. things don't they hurt me. All these things, all these things don't they shock me. To the beat, man, you know, they shock me anymore. I'm not going to lie. You know, my city, I won't beat. So, man, you, I don't outgrow, man, you. Man, you fans, if you are here, I'm sorry about growing you. Now, why you say that? If they play, people play Man City first. I don't know, Manchester. They go there. They go there. They go there. They play them home first. Yeah. They play City first. They play them for home. That's easy. And that's what's going to enter my top. I just jump for stand. I think I can count. No, but guys, because obviously, that for me, I don't know if you remember the stream prior to that. I said... This weekend is going to be all about Declan Rice. I told Kanebi, he's going to get, I said, man of the match performance for Declan Rice this weekend. I told everybody, I told everybody, man, you go chop Rice well. It's it. And they, every time they see the name Rice now, they're having flashbacks, bro. <laughs> Declan Rice, literally, because of that guy. 
And you know what? I I knew that he was going to perform in that game because I don't know if you guys saw the Louis or Kalechi Kalebi. I don't know if you saw the interview of Declan Rice after he won that man in the match. He said something. He said, "I was just I I just knew I had to put on a show tonight. I just had to announce myself or whatever. I, I, and it just everything just felt right. And when I was the way he was speaking, the swagger, the confidence, the kind of things in terms of leadership that I was hearing him talk about." You could just feel it. He was going to be up for this game on Sunday against the enemy behind our fans. Rice, rice, baby, bro. I think, I, think rice can, I think Rice can be our Roy King. What do you think? Elaborate, elaborate, bro. Elaborate. In terms of, in terms of leadership, impact, and driving the team forward, I think he can be that player because against Manchester United, I saw a leader. It's not just about the technical ability. He's not the best midfielder on the ball, but he's good on the ball, but he brought that energy, that drive, that leadership, that fact that, look, guys, we're going to win this game. Whether you like it or not, he kept on going. So mm. I saw that Roy Keane spirit in him because Roy Keane had that, we're never going to lose today, even if I have to drag my team back. You know that Juventus game? That's what I saw. I, so I hear it. I hear it. You know, Louis, Louis, what did you, how did you rate, De what did you like the most about Dick Rice's performance on the weekend? Um... He, he's brought in a new lease of life into the team with the way he plays. Um, he's good on the ball, distribution. He, he knows how to dictate play. Um, like Kanebi said, he can bring in that kind of Roy Kane style because everyone, especially most of the pundits, were saying he doesn't score a lot of goals. But scoring on Sunday now will give him confidence to, you know, try more shots and, you know, have more shots at goal going forward. And then with Pate out for a long time, we were looking for that like Pate kind of replacement. But now we have Declan Rice, who can just slot into that position and do the job. So against Everton, it's a, it's a beautiful Robert, thing. Yeah, people are not talking about how Declan Rice dominated the park with Casimiro there. They, ah, they don't want to talk out. Talk out. They don't want to talk out. Best, best DM, see them. But but they don't show me what. Come on, try loser. Move, move this comment from here. Where the guy from here? This loser's FC. Kelechi, for for me, one of them. Stop. I think we also need to point out about that defense because. Shout out Ibi with the with the with the super chat. Arsenal will not win the league. Man spent ten pounds just so he could say that on the stream. Man, big up, man, big up Kunle each and every time. Big up Kunle each and every time, man. But Kelechi, what I wanted to ask you is, what I wanted to share with you is obviously I'm. Most excited about Dick and Rice because he's young and you can tell he's going to be at our club for many years, man. What, what, obviously, you were there feeling the Rice, Rice baby. You probably heard some things about Dick and Rice since these match days. Like, tell us, like, because obviously, we don't get to go to the matches here in, in Nigeria until we, until we travel to the UK. You don't like, do tell problem, us what. Man. When you were in London last time, I invited you, you know, drop. Kale 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 don't let us talk about that, 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 what like, actually happened that day. Is. Let's not, let's Is not. It? But but what do you what what what's the what was the response the feel of of the Karais around the fan base on the weekend? Well, it was really nice. It was really positive. Everybody was celebrating even right after even way after the final whistle. And you know now when uh, after the game the uh, the players like the Karais are interviewed on the page and fans were sitting on the gate there you know shouting his name. So it was really really good. Uh, I caught a glimpse of him when he was going home, actually, uh, going to his car, but I couldn't say that because security was too, <laughs> security was too tight. <laughs> Protecting man of the match now. Uh, yes, man know. of the match. So <laughs> security went, but I had to see my boy in Ketia, Saliba, some other players, about him, with him. Oh, they, oh, no, 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 they can't do any photos. <laughs> 105 yeah. million, they don't, they go protect her. Well, <laughs> yeah, that so, price, yeah, you. Uh, positive vibes, there. Yeah. And then uh, after the game, we were looking at the you know the way these guys slid. Uh, down the mark was still on the page. And we were <laughs> the mark. Are you serious? I'm still there. Oh my! Hi. We're just bantering now. Jesus sent that guy. Oh, someone said it. Jesus sent that guy all the way to space with that chop. Eh? <laughs> just this slide. No, there was someone blaming the boy online that. Oh, how will you slide? And I'm like, you don't miss, you don't know football. You have to do something. Oh, something. If he was going to take he that was... thing with his left foot, he would have blocked it. He had to do yes, something. Yes, now. He, had yes. Like, he can't just stand there. You know, but this, you know, like I said, everybody's football knowledge is different. So yes, like, now. 
If you blame them, <laughs> yes, but so guys, just feel that Man United dominated that game. It's still a shot. Leave the foolish. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, what we're gonna do? For Twenty-seven minutes. For the, for the next three minutes, we're just we're just to uh, finish the show. We're just gonna respond to some of the comments in the comment section. Um, Social join says he has too much Chelsea in him. We should not <laughs> enable him to play like he did at Chelsea. We scored because he wasn't involved in the play. Havertz needs yes, to play man. deep, learn to pass and run. Havertz still I has hear... Chelsea spirit. So we need and to we need to cleanse him for that Chelsea vibes. We need, we like, need to go and got... break the egg that is in that locker room that they put for Havertz. Maybe not meant to put that for them. <laughs> because I don't understand. You know Chelsea is a bad team. So he mm -hmm. still has those vibes. He still has those vibes. Shout out to Literally. Bruce Brothers podcast. When are you going to do your podcast, dead team? <laughs> okay, so Kelechi, I'm going to let you deal with this one. I've watched Kai and my problem with him is that when he loses the ball up front, makes no effort to get it back and is jogging casually and we're playing with 10 men with, with, with him from the start. What do you think about that Everybody's comment from JS? Big up JS, man. I, I mean, I, I get it. Again, but again, I still feel like it's a confidence issue. If you look at the way he plays as a striker, he battles with defenders. So it's not as if he doesn't have the strength. He holds up the play, the ball very well. Not if he doesn't have the strength. Maybe that's something that he needs to add to his game. He hasn't played that kind of game before. He's not a jacker that will bump up and down. And that's why if you give me the two players at the moment, I'll play Rice there because I know Rice has the you know technical know-how, everything to, mm. to go through. So yes, he might not have the finesse to score like uh, Harvest and stuff like that, but still, you know, he's growing. This um, international break again, he, he, he will keep learning the position. But I just think that you know, there's competition for places for a reason. And if it's not working, then another person can take his place. That's, that, and then that's he has to fight thing. back in it. Yeah, right. he has to fight back. Right. That's it. Vieira now, um, a lot of people criticise him, you know, as well. But I think this preseason has helped him. You know, he has bucked up a little bit, you know, and he's getting into the physical play of the game. So, you know, let's see, you know. No, it, it, when, when you look at our bench, I'm not more confident. Wait, ah, my best day, ginger me. I'm not lying. We get we get teams. We get teams. But what's it called? Social join says three years to find confidence. Louis, I want I badly want Havertz to do well, but can you remind me of one player that's had three bad years that then became good? Who had three bad I'm not years? saying I'm not saying it can't happen though, but I'm just saying who, can who you remind me of years? someone? Who had three bad years? Kai Havertz now. No, come on. No, no. Come okay, on. which okay, what season was his good year? So I can go and rewatch no, him. He has won Champions League for them. He's a legend. That's not where that's not what we're saying here. What's his name? Um Divokorik is a legend in Liverpool. He also played that. Ah, but okay, has happened against them, Barcelona. Ah, Origi. It's not just he's one goal for Origi. Oh. He's a big game player. Not just one goal that no, made him that legend. I have it. He wasn't was playing. playing. I have it. I have Carver scored in the Champions League final and he scored in the semi final against Madrid. That's what they're doing. Okay, so what okay, so okay, we're okay, okay. I'm just making sure, just just to make sure we're clear. Are you saying because of those goals he had a good season? That what we're saying. Those what that one goal against Champions League means that season was a good year for him. I think. He performed well. Okay, okay, cool. All right. I, I was just asking. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. I'm asking. I'm asking questions. Brother, support. Brother, support a guy flopping. We could have got Eze for 65 million, a player ready to step up, not some rehab player. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Come on. That's a bit harsh, man. Big up. But thanks for thanks for the comment though. Kalechi is right. Support your player. Season's just started. Let him adjust. No players. problem. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'd rather support my player. Criticize him constructively. Say, okay, you need to improve on this. The person will learn. Because you run into that player tomorrow. How do you want to say hi? You lock up. You want to take stealth? <laughs> the player will say, fuck off. Sorry to swear. Do you understand? You can't swear. So, you, you, yeah, I need, I need you to, you know, sometimes I call you up, I say, ah, bro, this, 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 this you can do this better, you can do this. That's it. Mm -hmm. I can't say, oh, this is shit. This is there. No. For me, that's not how it works. You support people. Give them confidence. Fair. I said, fair. The day fair. Um, Eddie's mom saw me, I was in the box that day. The box was next to me. Yeah. She, the way she opened it, She's like, oh my God, thank you for supporting my son. Parents, well, they see it. The thing is that is the ripple effect of the abuse. Mm -hmm. So one person, somebody can abuse you now. Yeah, yeah. your brother is shit. And then your niece goes to school. 
Someone has to say, ah, can they be called your that brother? That one touch. <laughs> yeah, 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 I hear it. I hear it, I hear it. It affects the kids, it affects the parents. No parent wants to see his son or daughter abused. For sure, 100%. Now, for me, when it comes to this player abuse, I, I, don't, I don't agree with it, especially the personal stuff. Like, you can tell me someone had a bad a game or did something bad in a game, but when it gets personal, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not an advocate for that sort of stuff, man. Keep it to his football abilities. And I, I agree, Kai Havertz needs some time. I hope he spends this internet. I don't know, is he, has he been called up to Germany? Of course, he plays well for Germany. Good, good, good. I hope he plays 180 minutes, so he's a little bit tired coming back for Arsenal, so Arteta has to rest him and then give, give him a chance to watch the team and then find himself back in this the team. A, because look, a, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, because you, we, we've all agreed that he needs to get pulled out for a little bit to then work back in. And, and I, I, can, I can take that. But that doesn't mean his Arsenal career is done or he's not got anything to offer. He definitely does. I, I see him being more... like In that Man City game, he played really well for me as a false nine. He did some yeah, good things. Fair. So I'm, I'm surprised that... I'm surprised with Jesus being injured, we didn't see more of him in that position. But I guess I wanted to give... Yeah, it, yeah, that yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Honestly, I guess he wanted to give... Person, uh, honestly, the person that has the technical know and get out is there, his feet, play him. It's simple. Let's talk about complicated yeah. People will be doing um, a starting 11 line or the brute thrust at the house of the Ketia. And I'm like, how do people analyze <laughs> football? How? It, it doesn't... I don't understand it. But now okay, you have I'm going to... Oh, his own merit. Can it, can it be this one for you? Tandu Zulu says, "Don't worry, Tandu. We did, we're loading. We're loading soon. It they come. It they come. Don't worry, man. It's coming soon." To fuck, just to finish off the show. Chelsea is a bad team. You know you can't compare. They're having a bad part, but it doesn't last forever. I hope we'll have this section at the end of the season. Hey, Chelsea fans, you need help. You need God. You need all the prayers that you need. You can have in the world. Is that a Chelsea fan? Yeah, I, I, is it not? Yeah, Blue Brothers, Brothers now. Blue Brothers. FX Bonner account. Yes, now, yes, now, now, Blue, Blue Brothers, Brother. Blue Brother. <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you very much. He's coming. Chelsea is a rubbish club. Oh my God. Should have said Jackson will cook. Jackson, Michael Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. <laughs> Don't worry, Jackson. We go, we go make you chop rice when we enter the bridge. Don't worry, you go chop. Chop where, where? Blues Don't Brothers worry. Podcast, where are you people? We, we, did... we want to see you guys. Don't forget to smash the like, share, comment and subscribe. Guys, obviously, for me, for us, it's international break now. So we switch our allegiance to the Super Eagles. Yes, and I, 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 I'm not going to lie. The last few international breaks have been quite depressing watching those Super Eagles. But I'm always in hope when it comes to them. One time, one sweet day, they're going to find their feet put it all together and go on a great run. So no, catch believe, us on... I, I believe this is the Super Eagles um, with the new um, players that have been called up. I think it's exciting times for Super Eagles. Yeah. Finally, and, they've they've called up that um, Obatan or whatever. Yeah, Ob yeah, right? Ob that guy Ob from... Again, again, that's the give, mistake we are making. As give Ob Ob that's it. Sometimes, not everybody that is scoring in one league in Europe, you just rush. Brr. But they didn't. They did. But did they rush him? He had one. He had a whole season now that we, they didn't yeah, call him up for. Now he needs to play the national team. It shouldn't be that easy to be called up to oh, national okay. team. It shouldn't be. In case that idea was called up yesterday, has been another under twenty one under this under that. Please don't don't compare our own to England's own. No. We don't get pulled like that. So we don't get pulled like that. So. He needs to go to under twenty three and play. But who's he, who's keeping him out of the team right now? Who? I would need. No, he won't. He won't. He won't start. He won't start. But being in the squad is a good thing. I think even if he just gets a little ten minutes, it's good for him, man, to be with the squad and, I don't want it to and be get some like experience. It's easy to go to the national team anyhow. Just tapping one or two goals. Even one touch that can score now tomorrow for. Ah, I can come at people. Enter Super Eagle. You know that. They close him with 25. So, you see, we can always make it happen, guys. Thank you, everybody, in the comments today for all your comments. It's been our biggest stream so far. See you guys ah, in the well, Champions I, League. I, I cannot wait. That 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 first stream in the Champions League is going to be absolutely lit, bro. I, I could do Lagos that first. Um, Make that. Ah. First. 
As well, they are waiting, but I'm either the Lagos that first away game. So let's have better not book any viewing center and be, be, be coming to Tunnel TV or this one that uh, my, we've not seen you for a few games. I beg, I beg. I never said that. I never said that. Tunnel is top money. They get one million views on TikTok. It's say we don't know. The TikTok. Hey, hey. We only five. Tonya, leave her. Uh, if you know, on that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us today. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share go to your friends. Go, 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 I deck my new. Yeah. He did. 3 1 Arsenal. <laughs> Into, like, all you Arsenal fans, enjoy this international break. Die. Don't let Man U fans and opposition fans keep asking you, but what's going to happen in May, though? What's going to happen in May, though? We don't care about May. We did September. Let us take it week by week. Enjoy Thank each you. time as it comes. And who knows what we can achieve at the end of the season. Um, can, 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 obviously, me and Kenebi have got a couple more shows for the end of the week. you catch me, me Kenebi and Louis as well. Kelechi, is there anything we can expect from you this week on social media or any live streams or anything we should look out for? Uh, now, you know, I'm still, I'm still trying to walk my way back. You know, I've left, some, for instance, YouTube and the rest of them for a long time. As you can mm -hmm. see, I'm doing most content now. Uh, so I've seen still coming back money, day. Mm -hmm. yeah. money day, money day, money day, money day, money day, superstar, money day, they just, just, nah, just, they, just, guys, just they use look out to wine all of us. We know greed. All right, guys, have a great day. Catch us soon. I'll make sure connect your socials are in the description of this video, but I'm sure you know where to find them anyway, guys. Have a great evening. Enjoy international break and catch us for more content on. The top clubs in the UK and Ninja for the next two weeks. Have a good evening, yes, guys. Nice. Oh, yeah, now. <laughs>